ever since I made the decision to let go of Christianity, I've been getting a lot of feedback and some with good intentions stating that they're going to pray for me and that they're going to pray that I get back uh, to Christ. My thing with that is, how do you know that that's the path for me? If I've already said that I've studied and it had taken me a long time to come to this decision, then if that is the right path for me, then I will end up on that path. But to simply say to someone that I'm going to pray that you get back with Christ, you're praying against what they want. And I know some of you mean well, but I'm saying <laughs> that that is not the path for me. That's not, that's not where I'm headed right now. So I've already established the things that I do know. Um, I've already established that I am a former theologian. I've already, already established that I have a degree. I've already let you all know that this is my journey. This is where I am in life. And if Christianity is the right path, then I will eventually get on that path. So in this case, if you do want to pray for me, pray that I be on the right path, whatever that right path is. Pray that I am there. Don't force Christianity on me. And I'm going to say this. I get it because, like I said, I used to go hard for, for uh, Jesus. Now I am I am spiritual. I am connected more strongly than, um, if I, you can say it that way, I have a stronger connection with God now that I have let go of religion. So if you're going to pray for me, pray that I continue to seek knowledge, wisdom, understanding, discernment, and be able to apply all that I'm learning and that I end up on the right path, not the path that you want me to be on. But anyway, I'll continue with my, <laughs> with my stories of why, um, what led me here basically. So you all have a good weekend.